Well, a lot of us know just how frustrating Michigan roads can be, especially when winter hits. Oh yeah, right now, Michigan State University is working on a research project that could change all that. It's aimed at making driving safer when the weather turns rough, and it might even mean fewer orange cones and road work slowing you down. Will Jones shows us how it all works. What you're looking at is self-healing, self-heating bendable concrete. It was put in place on Michigan State's campus last October, and researchers believe this could be a potential breakthrough for improving Michigan's road conditions. Michiganders' top complaint, our road conditions. Michigan State researchers are working on a solution, and this is where it's happening. Four concrete slabs on MSU's campus. These slabs were put in last month. This is the future of our pavement, right? This concrete can heal itself, heat up, and bend without breaking. We have tried it in our lab, controlled area, and we see that we are able to melt the snow as effective as some of the uh, de-icing salt. So how does it exactly work, and where does the heat come from? The heat could be from the sun, could be from the higher temperature outside. Let's say today you have 45 degrees, and then they will absorb heat, store it. So basically, the heat is for, from the environment. It's free. So each of these has a slightly different mix design. So we want to collect different information and try to figure out what is the most optimal mix for, for winter uh, weather. Early tests show it can fix cracks thinner than human hair and hold up to 2,000 pounds, about half a car's weight, without cracking. So my passion is how can we create a concrete that has a metallic performance but also concrete without using steel. So our bendable concrete is the first one that can show that we can have the ductility a thousand times than the conventional concrete, but also maintain the stress. Wires connected to each slab here monitor how well they hold up and how effective they are at melting ice and snow. Self-heating concrete could reduce damage from freeze-thaw cycles and cut down on snow plowing and salt use we can improve the safety of the roads, for sure, that we have less snow, we have uh, um, less maintenance. MSU assistant professor Bill Jean says this technology costs more than standard concrete right now. The savings come over time. Think about it, if everything goes well as we anticipated, the roads don't have to repair for, let's say, 10 years. Compared to a rose, normally you repair every, every year or every six months or every two years. That is a huge saving. The labor saving, the material saving, and also the closure of the roads that will disruption to the public safety and the public roads. We really hope to use the technique in Michigan, at least. <laughs> How many years away are we from that, do you think? Oh, that's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> but this pilot program shows promise for the future of our roads. We really hope to see everything that uh, can work as same as expected in the lab. And in the next year, with the data collected, we hope that we can optimize the formulations and even have a better performance. We will see how these four slabs of concrete hold up over the next several months of snow. The data collected from here will guide the next steps of their research. At Michigan State, Will Jones, Local 4.